What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Katie of the House. I'm Katie and today on my channel, I'm going to take you through our November 2022 budget wrap up. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it here with our income. So we did have some extra income this month for a couple of different reasons. So I will just explain it as we go through them. So my husband is the only income earner in the family and he does get paid bi-weekly. So his first paycheck, we were expecting 5,200, but he actually got a raise this month and he actually brought in $54.27. So that was $227 more than we were expecting. On his second paycheck, again, I budgeted $5,200. And he actually brought in $56.10 for this paycheck. This one was higher than this one because he had an extra day where he went in early. So sometimes if he goes in early, he gets paid a little bit extra because he's there longer. So that was $410 more than we were expecting. So the next income here isn't technically an income. So it was my YouTube sinking fund. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I kind of did away with this fund. So now I'm gonna be taking anything that I spend on YouTube out of my own personal money. But I did have money in that fund and I just took it and put it towards other places in the budget. So I didn't know how to like show you guys that unless I put it on my income. So technically it's not income, but we had budgeted zero dollars for that because I wasn't planning on dissolving that fund until like the month had already started. So that was $134 that was in that fund. So that was $135 or $134 more that we had to put towards other things. Next, I actually want to give away from Deborah's journey. So I will link Deborah's channel down below. Please go check her out. She is on a journey to pay off student loans and she's just as sweet as can be. I love her channel. And I won her giveaway, which was really cool. So she had a giveaway that you could get money through PayPal and it was $50. And she also donated $50 to a charity of your choice, which was just really cool. So um, that was not expected. So I budgeted nothing for that because I wasn't expecting to win. And then that was $50 more than I had originally planned. And Deborah, I really was thankful for your money because I actually found out that I won the day after we had some car issues and I went over in my car maintenance fund. So your giveaway money actually helped me pay for that. So thank you so much. The next thing is some sales that I made on Poshmark. So I wasn't expecting any money from that. I was hoping to make money, but I you know, wasn't a sure thing. So I ended up making $52 on a couple of, of things that I sold. So that was $52 more than I was expecting. And then next... Mark sold a few of his magic cards that he wasn't really playing with because he wants to buy a computer. So all of this money went into his personal spending. So it wasn't just income that I could use for anything. Like he sold the cards with the understanding that he would get to use that money towards something else that he wanted, which makes total sense. So um, I'm putting it here on income, but it's just gonna go into Mark's spending. So our total budgeted income was $10,400. We actually brought in $11,458. And that was $1,058 more than we were expecting, which was such a blessing because I had some overspending this month. And then we also had some car issues. So it was so nice to have that extra money. And I did put some extra towards some of our financial goals too. So it was just all around really nice to have that extra money this month. All right, next we'll go to savings and investing. So I did budget $400 to go towards savings challenges. But since we did have some extra income, I actually ended up sending $567 to savings challenges. So that was $167 more than I was planning. So some of this money is going to our house maintenance fund. I'm not transferring it over until that challenge is complete, but most of this money will be going towards our emergency fund. So it is a good thing that we put extra because most of that's going to our emergency fund. Next is my IRA. So I did budget $100 and that is what I sent. So you guys know that I'm doing another savings challenge to put towards my IRA, but I'm not gonna actually put that money towards the IRA until the challenge is completely finished. Then we have E-Trade, which was $25 that we budgeted and that is exactly what we sent. So there's no difference there. So the total amount that we budgeted for savings and investing this month was $525. We actually ended up sending $692 and that was $167 more than we had expected. So that is always good to see more money going towards savings and investing. Next is our debt payoff section. So we do have a couple of debts still. We have our family car and then we have my husband's student loans, which are actually technically five student loans. But we budgeted $750 to go to the car. And I actually ended up sending $980 to the car because Stacy from Coffee and Budget 
really motivated me to send some extra money to debt because I watched her debt update video. I'll link her channel below as well. But her debt update video really inspired me to send some extra money towards my debt this month. I was just going to stick with a 750 and try to put all of the extra money towards like Christmas or the car fund. But I was like, why not throw a little bit towards debt? So that was $230 more than we had planned going to our family car payment. And then we just sent $50 towards my husband's student loan. And that was all that we had planned to spend or to send. And that was no difference there. So the total budgeted amount that we had going towards debt was $800. We actually ended up sending $1,030. And that was a difference of $230. For the bills portion of our budget, most of these were right where they were supposed to be. So our mortgage, we budgeted $2,253, and that is exactly what we sent. For our phones, however, we budgeted $108, and we did have data overage again this month. So that was actually $137. So that was $29 more than we had expected. And if we keep going over, I might have to look into upping our data plan because we do not have unlimited data. But the last time we looked at the unlimited data, it was actually more than what we were paying before and we were never going over on our data. So we're like, we're not gonna you know, pay more if we don't need it. But I think if we keep going over, then we might have to increase that, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try to you know, do a better job with that going forward. Next is our internet, that was 81, which is exactly what we expected. Our trash is 42, which is what we budgeted. Streaming was $100 and other was $400. And those were both what we expected. So our total budgeted for bills was $2,984. We actually ended up sending $3,013, which was $29 more than we had expected. All right, finally, we will go over to the envelope portion of our budget. So this is just all of our variable expenses that we do. So how I'm doing this now is whatever money's left over in these envelopes, we'll just roll over to the next month. But some of these are new. So like groceries, eating out, car gas, and utilities, I used to have as a bill or a variable expense and it was separate, but now I have them as envelopes. So that's why they're starting with zero because this is the first month that I'm actually doing it this way. First, we have our groceries. So we started with nothing in this fund. I budgeted $1,350. That is actually how much we put towards groceries and we spent $1,348. So we ended this fund with $2, which if you've been here for a while, you know I'm actually pretty happy about that. Even though we weren't super under budget, I'm happy just to be under budget at all. So I'm super excited about that $2. Eating out, again, we started with zero. We budgeted 250, that is how much I set aside. And we actually spent $248. So again, we were $2 under budget and we still have $2 left to roll over to next month. So again, that makes me super happy because we go over on eating out almost every single month. So I'm happy that we didn't go over. So we did have some wins this month. For car gas, we started with zero. I budgeted 375. I set aside 375 and we only spent 256. I think that's because gas prices have been going down a little bit. So we actually ended this fund with $119. So that can all roll over into next month, which will be really nice because if I continue to have large amounts of money rolling over, then hopefully at the beginning of next year, I won't have to set aside so much for car gas. So that will be really nice. For utilities, we started with zero. I budgeted 500, I set aside 500 and we spent $363. So we were left with $137 in this fund. And this was because um, we've been using our air conditioner less now that it's getting colder. So we didn't have as high of an electric bill as we normally would. But I'm happy that we do have this money left over because our gas bill will probably be going up a little bit over the winter months. So it's nice that we'll have a little bit of a buffer here in case we need it. So for my kids' school fund, we started out with $1,806. We budgeted $600. I sent $600 and we only spent $191 this month. So that now has a balance of $2,215. So I'm happy that this is growing because in December, we actually have to make a payment. It's technically a donation, but it's not a donation because they bill you for it. So every year you have to donate $1,000 per family to their like building fund to because they've been trying to like build on, I don't know, to their school. I don't know. But anyway, it's a donation, but it's not a donation. So I'm going to have to pay $1,000 out of this fund in December. For house maintenance, we started with 615. I budgeted 211. I actually sent 211 and we spent 713. 
and we only have $113 in this fund now, which makes me very sad. I'm trying to build this up again next month because there's so many things for our house that we need slash want to buy. And this fund keeps getting used for other things or it gets used for things that we don't particularly want to do. We just have to do. So in this case, we had to use it or we ended up using it for um, extra Christmas decorations that we didn't need, but I did buy them. So this fund got a little depleted. I'm happy that we still have something left in it, but I do really want to build this up. For holiday and gift, we started with 265. We budgeted 1100. I actually ended up sending 1200 since we did have um, a little bit of extra income and we spent a lot in this fund. So we ended up spending $1,457. So we are left in, with $8 in this fund. For car maintenance and insurance, we started with $584. I budgeted $840 because I knew we were going to have to pay our car insurance this month. And we also kind of depleted this fund a bit by buying tires for Mark's car last month. But I actually had to send $1,100 because I had some battery issues. So I ended up spending between the battery and our car insurance payment. It was $1,665 coming out of that fund this month. So I had to send extra to cover that or we would have been in the negative. So I'm thankful that we did have extra income to help cover that. And we only have $19 in our car maintenance fund now. For Mark spending, he started with zero. We budgeted 175. We actually ended up sending 385. You know, he got his 175 that we budgeted, and then he also got a little bit from selling his cards. So he actually got $385 added to his fund, and he spent 186. So he has 199 left. For my spending, I started with 368. I budgeted 125. I actually gave myself 172 because of that YouTube fund dissolving. I gave myself some of that money back. And then I spent $460 out of my spending fund and I have $80 left. It's kind of crazy that Mark has more money left at the end of the month than I do because it's usually not the case. But I just started spending and kept spending. So hopefully I got it out of my system now. For my boys spending, they started with $17 in their fund. We budgeted $125. We set aside $125 and we actually spent $110. So they have $32 left in their fund. For pet, we started with $6. I budgeted $250. I actually ended up sending $300. We only spent $141, so they have $165 left in their fund. The only reason I sent extra is because Lucy, our little dog, has a vet appointment coming up. So since we had the extra money, I figured it would be good to just set aside a little bit for that. For family, we started with $152. I budgeted $125. I sent $125, and we spent $105. So we have $172 left in our family fund. So this was my YouTube fund. It had 134. I had budgeted to send 35, but I actually didn't send anything. And then I spent, quote unquote, 134 because I just allocated that money towards other funds. So that fund now has zero and you won't see it you know, on my next budget. For braces, for my boys, we started with 120. I budgeted 30. We sent 30. We did not spend anything and we have $150 in that fund now. So the total amount that we started with in our sinking funds was $4,067. I budgeted to send $6,091. I actually ended up sending $6,723. And we spent $7,377 out of our envelopes or sinking funds this month, which is just crazy. That's a lot of money. But most of this was Christmas shopping slash decorating. And then also all of the car things that we had that came up this month. So we ended our envelopes with a total of $3,413. So I usually like to see this number increase. So this is what we started with. This is what we ended with. But it did decrease this month. And that's just probably how it is in December when you're doing all the Christmas things. So our total actual income was $11,458. Our actual expenses were $11,458. So that is it for my November 2022 budget closeout. You know, this could have been a really bad month if I didn't have extra income because we were overspending and we had those car issues that came up. So I'm really happy that we had the extra income to cover it. And I'm happy that we did get to use a little bit of the extra income to go towards saving and extra debt payoff. So overall, I think it was a great month. I hope you guys had a good month in November as well. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.